Hi, and welcome to another video on fractions. So in this video, we're going to do a few more sample problems to give you a better handle on how fractions work. So let's start with the first sample problem. The first problem, we have three jelly beans. One, two, three jelly beans. And the question is, what fraction of these jelly beans are green, or what fraction of jelly beans is green? Well, the way to think about it is you want to first look at um, of these three jelly beans, you notice that one of them is green, right? This one in particular is green, so let's draw an arrow to that one. So we have one green jelly bean, okay? And how many total jelly beans are there? Well, in total, there are one, two, three jelly beans. Two red jelly beans and one green jelly bean. So we have three total jelly beans, okay? And that means a fraction of jelly beans that's green is one out of three. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Let's do another example. Again, we'll, we'll use jelly beans as a theme here because uh, jelly beans are really delicious to eat. Uh, and they also make for uh, a good way to think about fractions. So now we have a lot more jelly beans here. Let's, let's count how many jelly beans we have here. There, there are a few ways we can count. We have um, lots of different groups of jelly beans. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16 jelly beans. 16 jelly beans, okay? And the other way you can count it is you can say, well, there are four groups of four jelly beans. There's one group, two groups, three groups, and four groups. Each group has four jelly beans, and that gives you four plus four plus four plus four, which is 16, and that's the same as saying four times four, okay? Of these 16 jelly beans, four are green and 12 are red. So what fraction of jelly beans is green? Well, one way you can do it is you can say, well, since we know that four of the jelly beans are green, okay, and 12 are red, we know that the remaining remaining part of the jelly beans are red. Um, and um, the way you can, you can describe red is you, you can say, well, there's 12 red jelly beans and four more green ones. So there are 16 total jelly beans. So four out of 16 jelly beans here are green. But there's another way to think about it. When you think about it, there are, there are four groups of jelly beans, each of which has four jelly beans in it. And of these four groups of jelly beans, how many groups are green? Well, exactly one. This group is green, and the remaining ones are red. So you can also think of this as being equivalent to saying there is one group of green jelly beans out of four total groups, okay? Now it's important to think about this as, as um, it turns out that 4 over 16 or 4 16 is the same as saying 1 fourth. I'm giving you 1 fourth of the jelly beans. For every, um, for every 4 jelly beans you get here, one of them will be green if you were to get 4 out of 16 jelly beans. Okay? Uh, and another way to think about it is that we have 4 equal size groups of jelly beans. Of these 4 equal size groups of jelly beans, one of these groups is green, and the remaining groups are red. So again, one out of four jelly beans is green. Okay, hopefully that made sense. If you if you got 16 jelly beans, you could you could divide them up into into groups in which um, for every one of these groups you would have uh, one green jelly bean and, and four uh, red jelly beans. So in fact, let, let's actually draw it out so you can see. You can, imagine you could take these jelly beans. You can draw them in different ways. So imagine we drew them in this way. So imagine I took I have my green jelly beans here. Okay, and now imagine I took my my red jelly beans, and I'm going to draw some red jelly beans for you. So, okay, and we have we have twelve red jelly beans. I'm going to divide them up into groups of three each, uh, giving me twelve total. So, three, six, nine, and, and twelve. So I've got now all my jelly beans. I've written them out in this way, and when you write it out in this way, what you begin to notice is that you have. Um, different ways you can partition these jelly beans. So now I've basically created uh, one group, which let me make that a bit of a nicer a nicer arrow. I think it'll be a little bit hard to make such a nice arrow because I've, I've uh, um, probably made the arrow just a little bit uh, uh, too thick. Let me try to make the line a bit thinner and, and uh, maybe that'll help. Okay, so imagine I'm gonna draw this out. I'm gonna say, well, I've got you know one group here, okay? I've got one group here, okay, one group here, 
It's my third group. Okay, and I've got one last group right here. Okay, so I've been able to draw these jelly beans as four different groups. Each of these groups has one green jelly bean and, and three red jelly beans. So again, you can think of this as one out of four jelly beans is green. So four out of 16 is the same as saying one out of four. Hopefully that made some sense. And we're going to come back to this topic later on in terms of thinking about equivalent fractions. But, but in general, um, you know, there are different ways to write the same fraction. You, you can write 4 over 16 uh, as 1 over 4 because, because in general, if you have 4 out of 16, that's the same as saying you've got 1 out of 4. Okay, I'm going to stop right here, and I'll do another video uh, subsequent to this one that talks more about fractions, and we'll do some other types of related problems. Thanks a lot, and I will see you in the next video.